Cat. It's Maximus here. This is just a quick little video about next generation, or I should say the second type of omnidirectional universal USB-A connector. Actually done a little video about this JBL because it was the first one I'd ever seen that was universal. Of course designed to plug into a USB-A port in either direction. I liked how tight it was and that it still maintained a strong outer shell, but it has this little thing that actually flexes this little right in the middle and this is a double-sided contact but it works pretty reliably now there is a second type that I didn't know about before which is this style here which is double-sided now the deal with this is this has exposed contacts but they are if you we look at the side you can see that they're just a little bit recessed below the surface It's because inside these USB chargers you have a couple little retention springs there but I've tried this in a few chargers and one thing I've had is if you don't put it in, if you put it in partially, it will make contact both with the terminals and with those little metal things up there, um, causing the charger to you know reset because it gets it's a dead short causes it to get overloaded. I like the idea of this one. I think they in many chargers and many situations this style will work. It's reliable because it has just a, a real thick connector, and once again you can put it in in either direction. So that's why I'm calling this the quote unquote second generation. I don't even know really if it's a second generation one, but just wanted to show that I think this style I like a little bit better, even though there are concerns with how thin this little metal, this little center section is and the fact that it kind of flexes um, when you put it in because it has to push to one side or the other. But I do like that it's protected and robust. This style here, it seems to work just fine. It is also pretty robust. But in certain chargers and under certain situations, you kind of risk those contacts, once again, touching those little retention springs. And it just kind of depends on the real specific design of, of the USB port and whether or not you make sure that it's fully inserted. And I think they probably should have made this connector just a little bit extra long because as you can see, it sits totally flush. And maybe it made it just a little thicker so it holds tight. Anyway, I just want to do a little update video about this because, once again, I made a dedicated video about this JBL because I just had never seen something I thought was so genius and then ran into this style. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.